We're tracking back to back fronts for your first alert weather and the first one right now sitting right on top of Maui County and Hawaii Island. The next one due in tomorrow night. So we're putting first alerts up for Tuesday night into Wednesday. Spotty downpours along the front themselves and then strong Kona winds will be building in right behind the second front. Alerts will be likely with a wind advisory and the possibility of warning level swell coming into the picture Wednesday into Thursday for north and west facing shores. Here's a look at the big picture saying goodbye to that area of high pressure that brought us the strong trade winds in previous days. And then you can notice there's the first front and the center of the low pressure system well north of us. It's just south of the Aleutian Islands. We're getting the tail end of the front. It's a very weak front. The second front a little bit lower in latitude and we will be seeing this front a little bit more powerful. Notice the winds behind it are going to be stronger as well. So that's going to be the big story with the second front the powerful west winds to build in. But right now we're tracking some heavy pockets of rain, especially over Maui County and Hawaii Island. That's going to linger at least through early Tuesday morning, at least for Hawaii Island. We'll see some clearing skies for most of us on Tuesday. And then there's the second front that we're tracking due in sometime at 5.30, 6 o'clock, at least over the far uh, western end of the state, over the Garden Isle. And then it makes its way down the island chain. Here we are at 6.30, draped right on top of us, maybe approaching Molokai, and then notice some showers ahead of it over uh, places like Maui and Hawaii Island. And then during the evening hours, some of that moisture hangs on over the far eastern end of the state. And then clearing skies for Thursday, Friday into Saturday. We will be seeing much lighter winds during that time period. The western end of the state in the green during the nighttime hours, light winds. And notice not a high chance for showers, about 77 degrees. We'll get to the low 70s, but right Right now we are tracking south winds over Maui, north northeast winds in Hilo, and that's where the front will be directed as we go into the evening hours. There it is on and off showers, especially over Kihei. We've been seeing some heavy pockets of rain and we are going to continue to see some runoff there and then Lahaina seeing some rain all the way to Waimea. We're seeing some showers in Kailua Kona, so much needed rain there. But the second one, like I said, is going to be more powerful with the surf as well on north and west facing shores. A big boost come our way on Wednesday, but tomorrow about four to six, 75 to 84 degrees tomorrow. We will be seeing strong winds, especially Wednesday, but then those winds become light Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right, thank you, Jen. The countdown is on. We are less than four days away. A time on our tradition returns to the Blaisdell. <laughs> You can watch the 103rd Annual Kamehameha School Song Contest this Friday night. The show will have a full audience and no pandemic restrictions. Watch it all live on K5 and streaming on our website, hawaiinewsnow.com. This year's theme is Namele Paniolo, Songs of the Hawaiian Cowboy. The pre-show begins at 7 p.m., followed by the competition 30 minutes later. Ahead tonight, a blind man finds his purpose in a classroom in Pearl City. What does he teach? And another casting call for the Lilo and Stitch re-